Hyrene is actually the 2nd of September Hi, hello and a very good day Today I am filming my 10th video and it is about my monthly reset Harini is actually 1st of September I usually do this every month but since PKP, since COVID I thought of not doing it PKP dah give me so much anxiety I thought not add up and give me extra pressure I thought of doing it with all of you yang tengah tengok ni force myself to be a bit more productive, more organized for the month of September. I am going to get ready sambil tu. I am going to just tell you guys on apa video ni, what is it about. Benda yang pertama yang I selalu buat adalah kalau I nak buat monthly reset, I akan clean. And benda pertama yang I need to do is untuk basuh baju and semua baju akan dibasuh, dilipat dan semua akan settle. And another thing yang I suka clean for the start of the month, a new month adalah untuk basuh telekom and using a new telekom. I don't know if any of you, if you do, please do and comment but bila basuh telekom, you rasa macam you start fresh, you rasa macam like at a happy, you really rasa macam dah a new person if you basuh telekom. Yeah, I'm going to like vacuum, then I think I might have to start do journal. I'm going to show you how I keep track on what I will be doing for the month, how I schedule benda yang I kena buat every day. And it definitely helps. Sampai ke metric pun, I still buat. Another thing that I need to do adalah I have to go and check through my finance. Which is, I need to set a new budget for the new month. Kalau I, I jenis yang every month, will, there will be a new budget. I nak kena tengok juga my past month punya spending. So that is also one of the things that I always do for the new month. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm so happy that ni video ke 10 I never thought I will be uploading my 10th video and I'm really 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 proud of myself I'm proud of myself because I'm really bad with consistency I'm done so that's it I am going to start clean and basa baju jumpa baju all of those things and then I will see you back again masa for journaling Time and attention Won't you give some of it to me I've been lonely lately I've been feeling neglected And I want you to show me Can we get back On the same page Tonight can we stay And why don't you
Hello. So as you guys can see, I have done most of the cleaning. Now I am going to sit down and to start plan the month. And currently it is almost 2 p.m. Okay, so basically macam I have two books. I usually guna buku from Typo. I've already macam dah familiar dengan dia punya design. And yang ini yang masa I guna for degree. And I have already done. But for degree dia tak penuh sangat. Kalau if you see my metric punya, dia lagi penuh. So I akan buat ni along with all of you. I ada satu side. I have two sides. So this is one week punya and then this is a general overview. This one untuk setiap hari. So usually for the to-do list, I akan letak lah macam apa for the week. Well, it's not for the week actually. The to-do list ni for yang memang I ada. It's a, memang a general to-do list. It's not to-do list for the week. However, for yang specific punya ni adalah to-do list for each day. So why I buat macam ni adalah because I ada the general to-do list, I akan insert dekat setiap hari on macam mana saya akan siapkan the general to-do list. Ini adalah untuk hari esok. And then I'm going to fill in for the rest of the day. I dah siap. Basically, this is it. I'm so happy yang I dah buat benda ni. If you want, I think it's already pretty much detailed. But if you want a detailed, a specific video untuk how I personally organize, then you guys can like this video or comment and I will do a personal video for that. So, I'm going to do the rest of my chores and then I will be back again here on how I do my finance monthly reset. Hari ini is actually the 2nd of September and the reason why I filmed this hari esoknya is because I did not like the clip that I did yesterday so I am going to refilm Bali. Me talking about how I do my monthly reset which is to do the financial part. This is something that I have always done since I think I started doing this masa I start intern, I know that I have to learn how to manage my money even though masa intern tu I dapat 500 ringgit a month seingat seingatnya like lah 500 ringgit I dapat every month and then I always keep track of what I spend I masa every week so that I can save more money instead of buying food and then I bought kopi sendiri. I didn't buy any coffee or any drinks. So I've been doing that. I, I can definitely see the difference between um, keeping track of my spending and then not keep track of my spending. So now I thought of starting the month of September fresh. And then how I do it is that the first thing, like I said, to keep track of my spending. And then second, when I do what I do every month adalah untuk check how I perform last month. So nanti I nak kena go through uh, jumlah berapa ringgit yang I dah spend, berapa ringgit I save. And then another thing is to create a new budget for bulan sembilan. So basically those are the three things that I always do. Masa start je bulan, I akan kira everything. And then it, it definitely works if you want to save a lot. If you ada an aim untuk buy something or you just basically want to save. It definitely works. Uh, my past, masa I betul-betul diligent untuk kira duit ni, I think I save around 10,000 ringgit in less than a year. But uh, but you need to really, really make sure that you are within your budget. So that is what I am going to do. I'm just going to go through it. I'm not going to show you because it's uh, private.
That's it for today's video. Inshallah, I can terus continue and produce more videos, 20 videos, 50 videos, and so on and so forth. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you aren't a subscriber already, please go and subscribe. And if you have any video suggestions, please do comment. I just want to say that have a good day. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video.